Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman. Today we got Dawson with us from The Real Team and we're talking about the Christensen OP2. Uh, we talked a little bit about the entire OP series in the OP1 review, but a uh, quick overview. OP1 is the step down, grovelly, kind of summertime, short board, short, shorter, a little bit wider, bigger tail. Flat, block. a little flatter. Yeah, a little bit flatter. OP, a lot of V, a lot of V, v in the tail. V, yeah. OP2 is a little bit more stretched out, uh, obviously narrower in the nose and the tail. This is daily driver, kind of you do everything shortboard, one board in the, in the car as a, a shortboard surfer, go kind of surf it and everything. OP3 is the uh, Brad Gerlach model or the Gur, and that is a swallow tailed, leaned out uh, shortboard for good waves. And then the OP4 is a step up shortboard, like a mm -hmm. one up shortboard. Uh, and that one is brought into a uh, rounded pintail again, a little bit narrower, a little bit more foiled out on the rails, and a little bit more rocker. So, Dawson, let's talk about the Christensen OP2. And uh, first, we're going to start off with your dimensions, then we're going to the board's dimensions. Yeah, so I'm 5'9 by 160, and this is 5'9, 19 inches wide by 2 and a quarter. Okay, so you're riding it right about your height. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. And uh, wave range that you've surfed this board. Knee high to overhead, two okay. feet overhead probably. Let's talk about that knee high day. So yeah. I was there <laughs> for the knee high day, and uh, if I remember correctly, that was the first uh, day I rode it. Yeah, too. yeah, Kai, mm -hmm. yeah, it was the first day you rode it. Mm -hmm. uh, Kai Westcote and I were out there. I wasn't surprised that I couldn't make anything happen. I was actually kind of surprised that Kai couldn't really make anything happen either. Mm -hmm. And you were like zooming all over the line. You're basically making giant X's all over the lineup <laughs> with this thing in non-existent surf. Like the surf was so small that your, your tic-tacking back mm -hmm. and forth to make speed yeah, was yeah. actually louder than the wave yeah. breaking. Yeah. Um, and then you were like flying on this thing all over the place. Yeah. Talk about uh, OP2 and small waves. Yeah, so the first day I brought it out was that session. And I just wanted to kind of get a feel, you know, feel it out, you uh -huh. know? And I was surprised how it worked in groveling waves because it's pretty short boardy and 28 liters, you know, pretty wide. But for me, it's just in that smaller surf, I feel like it worked just as good, you know? You know, it's perhaps a lot of rocker, but yeah, that one session I felt for my first time riding, it was pretty good on it. And what's the uh, the upper range that you've um, ridden this for? I think like two feet overhead at okay. the lighthouse. Yep. And uh, yeah, we're and juicy, yeah. Juicy, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Want to do big sections that day? Just typical shortboard, you know. Just kind of did it, it, just nailed all the boxes. Kind of bottom turns, releasing off the back, airs. Is kind of like you say, your daily driver. Kind of wanted to do everything. I mean, like knee, yeah, knee. Knee high, knee high, knee high, non-existent waves to two, two, two foot overhead, overhead, like heaving waves. Yeah, yeah, and uh, rippable waves too. You know, yeah. it still kind of went really fast on the line. I was surprised how fast it was, with the endorphin fins in larges. It was just insane how fast it was. That's another uh, thing I want to ask you about. So you're 160, so most people would like medium. Yeah, right? we think like, okay, he's, you're riding a medium fins. Like, why do you ride larges? Just I feel like you can hold your rail more and that, that bigger surf because you have so much speed with these fins and the bo this board. It's just the V in the bottom, I just feel like it gets so much down the line speed. Yep. And I use large fins just because when you want to do those turns, a lot of times I'd skid out because I had so much speed. So I'd use a large fin and, you know, it kind of holds that rail line all the way through. Okay. That's why I do large fins. And how do you like the, uh, how do you like the endorphins? The endor I love them. Yeah, that's a fin that like not a lot of people have ridden. I mean, like it was new to the market, yeah. like kind of end of last year. Yeah. Um, what kind of stands out about, about those fins? Like you get to ride a lot of different things. I just felt like for me, it's just, they're stiff, they're fast, but they do have a little bit of give at the very tip. So for me, that's for releasing and all that type of stuff, like right. for turns and errors, it just, that little bit of release really helps. And what about the lightness of those fins? Like when you oh, yeah, pick up those insane. fins, they're like, whoa, like they're yes. super, super, like what, like at a, at a surfer that's surfing at your level, like what do you feel out of that lightness that kind of people aren't kind of like pick up on in the board lock? Well, I just feel like it adds weight to your board, if you think of it, you know, because yeah. these things basically don't weigh anything. They're okay. so light. So if you compare them with another set of fins, you're like, whoa, there actually is a difference. But this board, I really enjoyed riding this board. It worked in the barrel. It kind of did it all. Yeah. Like it's an all around good board. Nice. Small and, waves, bigger waves. Um, I mean, there's still nose area up here. Yeah, just um, nice enough. But it's not as much as the OP1, mm -hmm. um, like as you're going in your quiver, like from your step down to like your everyday shortboard, like why is it important in your opinion to like bring the nose in a little bit? Just once you get into some juicier ways, all that, that wider nose might catch a little bit as yep. this is pretty, you know, shortboardy right through here. So when you get in that critical part of the wave, you don't 
get catch and rail. Okay. You know? All right. It just kind of goes through, flows through. Accessibility, you know, like uh, an intermediate buying their first shortboard, is this thing within reach or is it like kind of too like pro specific? No, I think if they've, if for their, you know, it just depends on their level, but I think anywhere from intermediate, intermediate and above, they okay. should be fine riding something like this because it still has that wide point. It's just not as far up. You know, it's like right here. Yep, yep. You know? And, and what about at the advanced level, like pro level, like where you're surfing at? Like, is this thing up to up to snuff? I for, think so. For what you like riding? I think so, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I had lots of fun on this thing, on all of them. I've had, yeah, that's kind of, I've been riding this thing a bunch in the winter time. You know? <laughs> yeah, it definitely tells us it's been like, this thing's gone through the winter. Yeah, yeah. The winter ringer, for but sure. But they're super strong, man, super durable. Like, I've been riding this, I rode this thing a lot this winter, and it's, the deck's barely, you know, it's still pretty fresh. Right. So that's another good, another awesome. plus. And uh, like any last thoughts on this board? I mean, like you know, you know, this was actually the very first. This is the first one. Christensen shortboard. Yeah, yeah. That you rode. Yeah, I rode. Um, like anything else you you know you want to share with it as far as like you know the people out there that haven't that are kind of thinking about a Christensen like OP. Yeah, I just think it's super durable for a Christensen board. I always thought of them as like collector items, just really nice boards, and I yep. feel like they just hold up really well, and they can still rip them. So nice. I, I enjoyed riding it. Awesome. Well, Mark, thank you for sharing the input on it and like your sessions with us. Mm -hmm. If any of you out there have any questions on the Christensen OP2, any of the OP series would like to order one, either stock or custom, you can always reach us at the shop, 252-987-6000, or look us up online, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.